Se nos fue el teacher. Alicia, una pregunta. Buenas noches. Hola, dime. Este, estaba viendo en el 2.11 que usted dijo que en mayúscula o minúscula le había aceptado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. No es que al menos a mí, solo en mayúscula me aceptó la plataforma. Bien y... extraño, porque yo en las primeras sí contesté con mayúsculas la... En el, el número lo inicié sí. con mayúscula y luego eh, eh, a, a M o el PM en mayúsculas, pero luego me fui como a um, como las cuatro últimas, te digo, eh, ahorita lo estoy viendo, por ejemplo, el número 8, todo está en minúscula, luego me fui en el número 10 con minúsculas y sí me lo aceptó. Okay. Hello, hello. Sí acepta de las dos, es Juan Alfonso, ambas acepte, pero... Verifique que pongan los puntitos. Esa es la clave. Posiblemente eso. Ajá. Okay. Un puntito en medio y un puntito al final. Por ahí. Cualquier cosa ¿Cuál? me manda me manda al grupo. Tengo. Si no, a mi personal, Juan Alfonso. Oiga. Ok. Eh, pero no, no se le olvide poner eh, siempre el 2.11, el 3.5. Siempre que, que tengan una duda, póngame. El, y se identifican con su nombre. Porque a veces en mi celular no me aparecen los nombres de ustedes, ¿verdad? Así okay, que ahí ponga eh, Juan Alfonso, 2.3, 2.5, ajá, ok. Ok, okay sorry, I'm back, estoy de nuevo ya recargado, <ríe> I'm sorry. Welcome, teacher, welcome. Thank you, thank you. <ríe> ok, <ríe> good, now, uh, we were in the, in the presentation, right, PowerPoint presentation, let me continue with this. Okay, now, can you see my screen? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. okay, yes. good. Yes. Okay, let me see. We were in the vocabulary, right? Okay, now, repeat after me, please. Neighborhood. Earrings. Earrings. Necklace. Necklace. Get it. Get it. Present. Okay, any question about the vocabulary? Questions, questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me. What do you mean necklace? Necklace yeah. is neck. And lace is lazo, right? So lazo para el cuello, in this case, collar. <laughs> okay, necklace. Understand? Okay, okay yes. good. Now, let's continue. Now, after the conversation, we have this, right? Rolando, read the, the objective, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstra demonstrative pronouns. This, this, does, does. Okay. Just okay. Continue, continue. To express pos possible choice. Okie dokie, thank you. These, these, that, and those, right? Now, let's start with demonstratives, right? In this case, this. This is, uh, we use this with singular and uh, Give me a second. And things that are near you, right? Two things, right? Demonstrative this is when you have singular things and things that are near you, right? For example, this is my cup. Look. This. Only one. Only one. And it's near me, right? Está cerca de mí. This. Okay, now let's continue. This car, for example, right? This pencil. Now that, we use that with things that are singular and that are far from you. For example, my cup, we say that, that is far from me. Está lejos de mí, right? And it's singular, that. 
this, that. Ok. That park over there. That tree in the forest. Ok, now let's go to the other demonstrative. These. Listen pronunciation. These. We use these with things that are plural and that are near you, right? Cosas que son plurales y que están cerca de ustedes. For example, look. My pens. These, right? They are plural and are near me. Están cerca de mí, son plurales, right? Example, these cars, these pencils. Now those, we use those with things that are plural and that are far from you, right? Plural y están lejos. Those pens. Those pens, right? Okay, now, again. Let's start with this, right? This pen. This pen. That pen. Uh, these pens. These pens. Those pens. Those pens, right? So those are the demonstrative, right? Demonstrative because we say demuestran el número y el lugar donde está algo, right? Pointing, right? These, that, those, these, right? Now, repeat after me, please. This. This. This car. This car. This pencil. This pencil. That. That. That park over there. That. Tree, that part of there. That tree in the forest. That tree in the forest. These. Z, 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 these. These cars. These cars. These pencils. Pencil. Those. Those. Those parts over there. Those, those trees in the forest. The, those trees in the forest. Good. Any question? Questions, questions? Okay, let's continue, right? Now, when we are talking about countable things, we can use one or ones. If it is clear what we're talking about. Cuando sabemos de qué estamos hablando... Right? Eh, nosotros podemos utilizar el pronombre one o en plural ones. For example, this is my pencil. My pen, sorry. Do you like this one? So, cuando uso one, ya sabemos que estamos hablando de pen, pero ya, ya anteriormente se los había dicho yo que es un pen, right? Okay, I like the blue one. Me gusta el azul. The blue one, right? Or oh, in plural, right? These are my pens. I like the blue ones. Me gustan los azules. The blue ones, right? So one and ones are substitution of nouns and refer to countable things. Cuando yo uso one y ones, me refiero a cosas contables, right? Okay, now, let's continue. To avoid repeating yourself, you can use one when you are talking about a singular countable noun. Para evitar cosas repetitivas. El lápiz, sí, el lápiz aquí, el lápiz allá, el lápiz de transforma, el lápiz que está en la mesa. So, instead of saying that, you say the pencil, and then you say this one, that one, okay? Oh, in plural, right? These ones, those ones, Instead of repeating, right? In lugar de estar repitiendo el pencil, the pencil, the pencil. Okay? So you can use one and ones. I repeat when you're talking about singular countable or plural countable. Cuando hablamos de cosas contables, plurales y singulares, right? Any question? Okay. One practice, right? Listen. 
This bag is very old. I need a new. Let me see. Noemi, please. What are you going to use, Noemi? One or ones? In number one, this bag is very old. One teacher. One, right? I need a new one, correct. A new one. Vamos a escribir acá. Let me see. A new one, right? Okay, good. Now, small pineapples are sweeter. Las piñas pequeñas, right? Are sweeter, son más dulcitas. No sé, no me consta, pero... Okay, Dan B. Eh, Rolando, please help me. One or ones, Rolando? Ones. Ones. Because pineapples are countable and are plural, right? My, please. Yes. Number three, my. The new okay. smartphones are much, are much faster than the old. Los nuevos smartphones son más rápidos que los viejitos, ¿verdad? Aquellos que eran tipo ladrillo. <ríe> so, one or ones, my? Eh, uh, one. One. Ones. Ones. <ríe> ones. Ok, very good. Para remarcar lo que dijo Mai, ¿verdad? Ones. Ones. <ríe> ok. <ríe> good. Excellent, Mai. Plural, right? Thank you. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, Alejandro, number four, which is your card? The black one or the black ones, Alejandro? The black one. One, correct. And Rosa, or the white one or the white ones, Rosa? Ones. Ones. Mm. Okay, listen. The black one. El negrito, Sorry, right? sorry. Eh, I creí que estábamos en la cinco. Ah, no, no, no. Number eh, four, la yes. cuatro, sí, cuatro. One, right? One and one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Okay, Alicia, please. Number five. She needs new shoes. New shoes, right? The old? Ones. Ones. The old ones are too small, right? One, right? It, because you have two. Two feet. Tenemos dos pies, ¿verdad? No. Okay, cool. then, uh, Caro, please. Number six. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a third. Esta, esta, give me a second, Caro. No me conteste todavía. Esta tiene cascarita, okay. Caro. Así que preste atención. Se la voy a leer bien nuevamente. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a third. Ah, third. One. One, correct. Excellent. One, right? Free. La tercera es gratis. ¿Por qué es one? Porque solo estamos hablando de la tercera. Ya no, ya dejamos de hablar de las dos botellas anteriores, ¿verdad? So we say one, right? Very good. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. Perdón a los que no les di participación, ¿verdad? Pero ya vamos a dar más oportunidades. Ok, good. Now let's go to the videos, right? Let's go to the videos. Let me see. Okay. Let's share the platform. Here, right? Here, number three, number three. Okay, ya está cargando. Okay. Section three. Let's start with the conversation, right? It's opening, it's opening. Okay, they are perfect for you. This is the conversation. Listen, please, and watch. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. 
Ooh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very good, right? A la chica le gustaría tener un novio o un esposo así, ¿verdad? Pay, no me importa cuánto vale, yo te lo doy. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, let me see. Neighborhood like. Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Listen, Remember please. you may access to this conversation as many times as many times as needed. As needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation while shopping. Give me a second. Okay, here, here, right. Listen, pay attention. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. And Maria said, the red ones, the red ones. Now, Lorena. Hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Cada vez, cada vez que está en la clase y se le oye su micrófono, yo canto Victoria, Lorena. Ay, no. Hey, thank you. otra vez. Yeah, pero aquí está. Ok, Lorena, listen. Gracias. When I say, María dice, the red ones, esta palabra ones, ¿a qué se refiere, Lorena? Eh, plural. I know, ok, it's correct, ah, but, no. pero, pero ¿a qué cosa? Está hablando de carros. De, de ah, mangos. No, de los earrings. De earrings, correct, earrings, right? Earrings. Quiere decir que aquí podemos decir these red earrings. These okay? red earrings. Podemos okay. decirlo. Ok, thank you, Lorena, thank you. Now, thank you. Now, podemos decir the red, the red earrings, podemos decirlo, pero hemos hecho algo, hemos sustituido los earrings por el pronombre ones. Como son plurales, hemos usado el plural ones, right? Pero ¿por qué lo hacemos? Porque no queremos repetir a cada rato. The red earrings, the blue earrings, the blue... Ok. No estamos repitiendo porque hemos sustituido el earrings. Ahora sigamos. Dice, no, the yellow ones. Ok. Cindy, ¿a qué se refiere también cuando dice the yellow ones, Cindy? Ones. A lo mismo, earrings. A los mismos earrings, o sea que estamos hablando de varios an, aritos, bueno, que en inglés es anillo para la oreja, así es como se traduce literalmente, ring, right, es un anillo para la oreja, ¿eh? nosotros decimos arito, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, está hablando de aritos, pero aquí dice que hay unos que son rojos y otros que son amarillos, pero siempre, como dijo Cindy y Lorena, el once y once aquí se refiere a los mismos earrings, right? Oh, this uh, yellow isn't really good for me. And, uh, okay, now. Well, that necklace isn't bad. And then, which one? Abel, Juan Abel, please. El one. No, a, ¿A qué se refiere el one, Abel? Uh, ¿De qué estoy hablando ahí? ¿De, de mango, de, de peras? O, ¿O de qué estoy hablando? One. The earrings? No, el earring ya lo dejamos no. hasta atrás. Por ahí aparece oh. otra cosa. Necklace. Necklace, right? Necklace is singular, only one, right? Entonces lo sustituimos por el one. Aquí puedo decir which necklace. Estaría correcto decirlo, which necklace. Pero para no ser repetitivo, volvemos aquí a decir one, ¿verdad? Y para terminar, dice the blue one. Igual se refiere a, Necklace. al necklace, the right? Color. Understand? ¿Entendemos el punto aquí? Yes. Ok, now please, repeat after me. Oh, look at those earrings. Oh, look at those earrings. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. They're perfect for you. These red ones? These red ones? 
I'm not sure. I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. No, the yellow ones. Oh. Oh. Oh, repeat everybody. Oh. Oh, okay. These. These. Mm. Come on, repeat everybody. Mm. Mm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Yellow it is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? Which one? That blue one right there. That blue one right there. How much is it? How much is it? It's $42. It's for $2. That's expensive. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Just get it for you. Get it is like comprar, right? Get it. Now, is your birthday present? Is your birthday pre present? Birthday. Birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, good. Any question? No. No questions? Okay, good. Now let's go to the last video and we'll finish the class, right? Video, video, sorry, the monster at this one and ones. Pay attention, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question. Good. Any questions so far? Any question about the use of one, ones, these, that, these, and those? No questions? Okay. So let me see, we still have two minutes. Yes, three minutes to explain this, right? 3.4, right? The first evaluated activity. Listen, please. Uh, look at the picture below. Uh-huh. There is a woman, right? Looking for uh, clothes. There is a man looking for backpacks here in the, in the picture, right? Okay. Complete the conversations using demonstratives. In one one, so we're going to use this, that, these, those, and one ones. 
For example, look. Excuse me, how much are or is? Notice that we're talking about jeans. So jeans is plural, right? In English, in Spanish, we say, deme un jeans, right? Deme un blue jeans verde. <laughs> okay. Pero decimos uno, right? But in English, no. In English, it's plural, right? So are or is. And second, right? These or those. Veamos el dibujo. Bueno, hay dibujo acá. ¿no? Ah, sí. Aquí estamos. Los jeans. Está señalando los jeans, right? And then it says, uh, which, how much are these or those? La cliente está preguntando, es la del bolso. Ahora, ¿ella está cerca de los jeans o está lejos de los jeans? Ahí pueden ver si está lejos o, o cerca, ¿verdad? Luego dice la clerk, la que atiende, which one or which ones? ¿Ok? ¿Es plural o es singular los jeans? Ya, ya les dije, ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes van a escoger o ones o one o are, right? No, the light, the light, the light one or the light ones, right? Y luego, siendo hablando de los jeans, decimos, they, oh, they are, it are, o we are. Recuérdense que estamos hablando de los jeans, ¿verdad? Ok. En la número dos, estamos hablando de una backpack, right? How much are, how much am, o how much is. Si es singular, pues ya saben cuál forma del verbo tuve vamos a usar. Y luego, which one? The red ones o the red one, one? Ones o ones? Como es una sola, pues ahí ustedes saben cuál es la respuesta. Y para terminar, it's 27.50 cent, right? But the green, pero la verde... Si está hablando de una, pues ustedes ya saben cuál poner. O one o ones, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Any question about this? Questions, questions? No. No question. Ok. I'm happy for that. So, uh, uh, sorry for the interruption, right? But my internet wasn't working very well, so sorry, right? So see you tomorrow. God bless you. Right? And if you have any questions, remember, right? I am there in the in the WhatsApp group, right? Goodbye. Have a good, good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.